all these different people are telling you all these different things and I think that's quite frankly where I'm at in my life right now. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm an independent woman and I've always kind of done what I wanted and gone after what I wanted but then you get to a point and it, you're, you're just kind of in, in there with everyone else. I just finished law school and um, I've been working really hard towards becoming a lawyer. Um, I really thought it's what I wanted to do. I mean, I charged at it. I, I had this prize of what I wanted. I was focused. I was determined. I worked hard. And now I'm a lawyer, and I just don't think it's what I want to do. I don't feel like where I am right now will allow me to naturally evolve to the person I'm supposed to be. At, at a certain point in your life, you feel like, OK, I've got this all balanced. I don't want to change anything, because if I change anything, something's going to happen and my kids are doing good, I'm bringing in a good salary, we're making the house payment, we're paying the bills, the cars are running. If I change one little thing, is it all gonna fall apart? I have been a stay-at-home mom for five years. I love my kids to death, and um, they're at an age now where they can go back to school, and now I'm just kind of feeling like I wanna work. I wanna go back to work, but I wanna be there for my kids, and I know that I can't do both. I am. Um... I'm a little lost. I'd like to have a job that when I come home at night, I know I accomplished something. I made a difference in this world. I just need something bigger than myself. You know, I'm my kid's mom. I'm my husband's wife. You know, I, you know I'm everybody something, but I don't have anything for me. And um, it's just really frustrating, and I feel really guilty. In our research, we heard from thousands of women faced with very similar challenges. In fact, when we did a workshop for The Oprah Show recently, we heard from hundreds of thousands of women. And although every person's situation was different, in the end, they were all asking the same question of themselves. How do I live a strong and fulfilling life? And these women weren't some confused minority. Most women are asking themselves that question today. In fact, recent research shows that although over the last 40 years women have gained for themselves greater rights and responsibilities and opportunities, influence, money, power, women today are actually less happy and less fulfilled than they were 40 years ago. I wrote this book to shine a spotlight on that paradox and help you know how to take control of your life and buck that trend. First, you'll take a test. It's called the Strong Life Test, and it measures you on nine life roles. Now, you may play each one of these roles at some point in your life, but this test pinpoints your lead role, the role you were born to play, the role from which you derive the greatest strength and satisfaction in life. Next, you'll learn how to fully accept that role. There are so many competing voices in your life, aren't there? So many people with different expectations of you, different demands of you. It takes a remarkably clear head to be able to cut through that clamor and really take a stand for who you are. And finally, you'll learn how to intentionally imbalance your life. So often you're told to strive for balance, but balance is the wrong target. Balance is almost impossible to achieve and not fulfilling when you do. You study the happiest and most successful women and they deliberately pick out the moments in life that invigorate them and then tilt, target, imbalance their life toward those moments. You can do the same. You know, the cliched image of a successful woman today is that she's some virtuoso juggler, somehow able to keep all the different parts of her life in the air at the same time, but, but that's quite a sad image when you think about it, isn't it? Because the core skill of juggling is throwing, not catching. And if you spend your entire life as a juggler, you'll never hold on to anything long enough to really feel it. The core skill of life isn't throwing, it's knowing which are the right moments to catch, to draw those moments in toward you and then cradle them. That's the skill that you'll learn in this book, Find Your Strongest Life. So, so whether you're a recent graduate just figuring out which direction you want your life to take, or whether you're 10 years into the workforce but, but looking for more, or whether you're a new mom trying to figure out whether to go back to work or stay with your kids, or whether you're some super successful executive just trying to keep everything moving along smoothly, you'll be able to take a stand for who you really are and find your strongest life.